Hi everybody, today we're making a low carb keto peanut butter cups recipe that is super easy to make and tastes just like the original candy we all know and love, but without the added ingredients, extra carbs, and added sugars. So before we get into today's recipe, I'm Cassidy from Cassidy's Cravable Creations and on this channel we share easy but delicious keto and paleo recipes. So if these are your kind of recipes, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell below to be alerted each time we post a new video. So we're going to start today just by mixing together all of the filling ingredients. I have some sugar-free peanut butter, but you can also use almond butter or sun butter for nut free. I have some keto powdered sweetener. I like to use powdered monk fruit, monk fruit allulose blend just because it's super creamy and there's no aftertaste. You can use an erythritol based sweetener, but it might just, might just have that, like a little bit of grittiness to it, but it should still work fine if that's what you prefer. I have some melted butter. You can use non-dairy butter if you're dairy free and just a pinch of sea salt. Okay, so we'll just mix, the, mix this all together until it's really well combined. And if for some reason the mixture is too thick, you can add just a little bit more melted butter. And if it's too thin, you can add a little bit of coconut flour. Now for the chocolate filling, all we're gonna do is we're gonna melt some keto chocolate chips with some coconut oil. And for the chocolate chips, I really love Chalk Zero, but you can use whatever kind of chocolate chips you prefer. So we'll just add this coconut oil in here and you can heat it in a double boiler on the stove, but today I'm gonna to use the microwave and we just heat it in 30 second intervals and you start well between each interval. And the reason being is that if you heat chocolate for too long, too fast, it will just seize up and ruin. So it's really important to heat it in short intervals and to stir well each time. So now that the chocolate's melted, you'll just line a mini muffin tin with paper cups. And then you'll take one teaspoon of the melted chocolate mixture and put in each muffin cup. Then you'll evenly divide the peanut butter mixture between all the muffin cups, which comes out to about between a half to three quarter teaspoon. Then you'll top it with an additional one teaspoon of melted chocolate. So now that these have set, it's time to enjoy them. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. 